Adding fractions requires a common denominator. We would prefer to use the lowest common denominator. And you can find that by listing the multiples of the two denominators you started with. Here we have a 4 and a 3, so I'm going to list their multiples. 4's multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and it keeps going. 3's multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and it keeps going. I simply look for the lowest number that's on both lists, and the one I see is 12. So 1 quarter plus 1 third has to be converted into two fractions that have 12 as the lowest common denominator. My 4 became a 12, so I have to expand this fraction. If 4 is turned into 12 by multiplying it by 3, then 1 has to also be multiplied by 3, and I have 3 twelfths. If 3 is converted into 12 by multiplying it by 4, then the 1 on top has to also be multiplied by 4, and I have 4 twelfths. Now I can add 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. I have my answer. There is a possible shortcut. If you notice that 4 times 3 is 12, then you can see that multiplying the, the denominators of the fractions you started with gives you a common denominator. And in this case, it would happen to have given you the lowest common denominator. But it's not always going to be the lowest. Let's do some more examples. Here we have denominator 5 and denominator 7. I list their multiples 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and it keeps going. For 7, I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and it keeps going. The lowest number that's on both lists is the 35. So I convert both fractions into new fractions that have 35 as the denominator. 5 times 7 is 35, 2 times 7 is 14. This fraction expands to 14 over 35. 7 times 5 is 35, 3 times 5 is 15. This fraction expands to 15 over 35. 14 35ths plus 15 35ths is equal to 29 35ths, and I have my answer. Again, if I had multiplied my original denominators, I would have gotten 35, I would have gotten the lowest common denominator, and I would have gotten the right answer. In this case, in the third question, my denominators are 6 and 12. If I do that trick, just multiply them, 6 times 12 is 72. Let's see how that works. To turn this 6 into a 72, I multiplied it by 12, so 1 times 12 is 12. I have expanded my first fraction. To turn this 12 into 72, I multiplied it by 6. 5 times 6 is 30. I have expanded my second fraction. 12 plus 30 is equal to 42. So 42 over 72 is my answer, but it needs to be reduced. 42 and 72 have a common factor of 6, so I'm going to divide both of them by 6, and I get 7 over 12. My final answer is 7 twelfths. It is the right answer. So the shortcut worked. But what if I had listed the multiples? I would have seen that the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and it keeps going. Multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, and it keeps going. The lowest number that's in both lists is 12, not 72. 72 would appear on the lists further on, but it's not the lowest common denominator, it's just a common denominator. If I realize that 12 is a lower denominator than 72, I can convert both fractions into fractions over 12. Well, the second one is already 5 over 12. It doesn't even have to change. The first one, 6 times 2 is 12, and 1 times 2 is 2. 1 sixth expands to 2 twelfths. 2 twelfths plus 5 twelfths is equal to 7 twelfths. That's my answer. It's the same answer I got with the shortcut method, but the good thing is I didn't have to do this extra step of reducing. And that's why it's more convenient to use the lowest common denominator instead of just any common denominator. This is how you add fractions.